Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. But before we talk about the brand new event Gacha, which features Macross Plus for the first time, we need to talk about um, Valkyrie Tuna. So in the in the last video that I did for the tutorial on Valkyrie Tuna, I wasn't sure whether the Valkyrie operations um, would actually contain the mechanical tool. Um, which I mispronounced the last video. So yeah, apparently the Valkyrie operations with mechanical tools are only present during the last portion of the day. So basically it's the evening missions. So um, once the timer in Japan uh, passes, um, I would say 2pm 2, 2 in Japan, once it passes 2pm in Japan, these missions will become available so therefore you can see that I've already sent out a few of my Valkyrie teams and of course we do get a brand new set of missions which belong to Macross Plus because the current event, um, there is no diva to unlock or there is no diva costume to unlock because Macross Plus doesn't ex exactly have a diva within Uta Macross um, set for Sharon Apple fans but anyway guys um, we do get two different Valkyries from this current event um, the YF21 which you can get from the events episode plates which you can unlock fully for free while the other one that belongs to Isa uh, Isamu um, the YF19 that one however sadly you have to unlock through the paid gacha banner so guys, we're going to take a look at the current banner for the uh, for this event. We're going to see whether this episode plate that is first uh, of its kind for Macross Plus, is it actually worth throwing your money in other than the fact that it's going to help you unlock the YF19. So yeah, alright, so let's take a look at this. Alright, so I'm on the second page, let's go to the first one first. So there are the four divas here that you can equip this episode plate to. Mikumo, Ranka, Cheryl, both divas from Frontier, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and of course, Basara. So, yeah, I guess Basara's um, spirit links well with Isamu, I'm not too sure. So, uh, anyways, total score value of 3603, pretty high. In fact, um, almost as good as the Macross 7's um, support plate. That has a very good high total score, but sadly to say, it doesn't have a good um, life skill to help boost in terms of high score. So I don't know whether this one will be exactly the same as that. But anyways, focusing on soul, so can imagine uh, you you probably can tell from here uh, information high the song that is currently going on for the event <coughs> focuses on soul, and of course there is a decent high amount on voice as well, plus a bit of charm. So this plate. In terms of stats, it's definitely looking them, uh, looking better than most of the episode plates we've seen in the past. Um, very rarely we will get plates like this um, with fantastic stats. But with good stats, eh, there might be a down point because the skills might not look as appealing. So center skill, blue element songs, or rather sorry, blue element plates, sorry, blue element plates. Total will be increased by 30%. Up now, the center skill is fantastic, even but even though the percentage is rather low, blue element plates total. So, let's say for example, if you have a whole diva team set up with blue element plates only, your total amount will be boosted by 30%. Now, that's a pretty big boost um, if you're talking about an overall look on just blue element plates. So, if you have um, maybe a high score, a personal high score to break, maybe this episode plate might help you out if if the center skill is actually better than your active skill uh, on your set of plates that you currently own. So yeah, that's just my overlook on it. But overall, 30% is still pretty low. But if you have an awesome set of blue element plates, definitely this center skill might come in handy somehow. So let's move on. All right, active skill, life recovery of fifty percent. So the um, active skill is not fantastic. If it was a score boosting skill, this plate would have been a top tier plate. But sadly to say, because of its active skill, it is not. 
uh, is definitely looking towards a support because well the life skill is an S rank as well but let's talk about it later let's ex uh, let's talk more about this life recovery so the thing about information high the song that we're currently going through um, it is not that difficult to play um, in terms of very hard difficulty I haven't tested out the extreme difficulty it is set at the difficulty level of 24 I think it's still um, doable um, for those who have been playing the game long enough and have improved their skills along the uh, the one and a half years worth of full time across um, that the game has been out you know if you if you've improved your music playing skills I guess you should be able to somewhat survive information high uh, at the difficulty level of 24. So I guess the healing ability for its active skill might come in handy uh, maybe just to get to the end of the song and clear the song, that kind of stuff. Because this event, if you're still not familiar by now, you don't need a full combo for this event. You just need to make sure you survive and tap all those notes with the green item notes and then that's it. So in terms of use, this active plate is kind of useful for this e event but in terms of high score purposes this episode plate is definitely a no-go but let's take a look at this life skill maybe it can be used as a, a high score uh, purpose plate as a life support so let's take a look at the 30 second mark 30 second mark for seven seconds your score is boosted by 80 percent up so Immediately you can tell, um, it is definitely used as a support plate, um, it's not meant to be used as a center plate at all, so it has a score repeat um, life skill, so score repeat basically means that it is meant to be used for songs that are, well, um, long duration, so pretty strange though, because um, Information High is a decently long song, about 1 minute plus. Um, and the active, the life skill actually activates at the 30 second mark. So 30 second mark is somewhere in the midway. I guess it's close towards the um, beginning of the Valkyrie attack phase. Uh, that's usually where most of the notes will appear. So I guess this is where the life skill comes into play to give you that high score. Um, sadly to say, 7 second duration is definitely not very long but I guess considering that how the note map for the song is the, most of the notes are pretty cramped together so I guess that 7 seconds could become useful in that manner so that's probably the difference between a long duration song and a short duration song and that's why you need to pay attention to all these episode plates and their skills when it comes to getting a high score Alright, so no special notes attached to this episode plate, so I guess this episode plate is pretty um, decent. Um, it is definitely better than the Macross 7 version with the highest stats, um, because this one, at least this one has a useful life skill, while the Macross 7 version is completely useless in terms of skills, but it has the stats to make it one of the better plates. Uh, maybe as a friend plate or maybe as a uh, life skill support plate that you probably might want to just use for temporary purposes because you don't have anything better than that. Alright, so other than the fact that it unlocks the YF19, let's take a look at the uh, YF19's stats. Um, okay, apparently we don't get to see the stats here. I wonder why. Um, <laughs> so it's pretty strange. Normally we would be able to see like maybe it's attack, uh, attack stat, it's life stats, but there is nothing here except a description or rather a, a flavored text of um, you know the Macross Plus story and what the YF19 is related to. So pretty interesting. Um, so yeah guys, I'm gonna do one template pool because that's pretty much all I can afford at this point of time. If you guys do not know, other than this banner, we do have an upcoming, uh, I would say, mid-event banner. Alright, the banner has already been uploaded into the game. So if you scroll down, here we go. We have Messer and Keith um, together. If you recall, this particular image is 
uh, or rather was shown during the Uta Macross SP. I apologize once again, I did not do a breakdown of Uta Macross SP, but I have uploaded all the information on Macross Space Time The Culture Facebook group uh, during that day that the SP broadcast was shown. So um, Dana, or rather the producer, uh, the game developer, did show an incompleted image of this episode played. Uh, basically, it was just line art. Um, there was no colouring and all that, but we finally get to see this image coloured in the gacha banner form. So, pretty fantastic. So, I guess they're going to release this episode plate. We, we, we aren't sure whether this plate will give you points for Messrs Valkyrie or Keith's um, um, plane. So, I'm, I'm not too sure exactly um, which <laughs> pilot's plane will we get points for. Um, it doesn't really state here as well. Um, so it just basically says that you have a, you know, chance to get the 5 star plate, uh, of course with a big red up. Uh, yeah, so there, there really isn't any other information on whether the, the points on this episode plate will go to which Valkyrie uh, from the Macross Delta series. So, <laughs> guys, um, if you don't really like Macross Plus, um, which I, I find it hard to believe. I think most of the senior fans of Macross series, um, they love Macross Plus a lot because it's definitely one of the best dogfight uh, Macross series out there. I know the main TV series probably don't appeal uh, much to the old generation Macross fans because um, it has dived more in towards the idol factor rather than the uh, mechanical planes and the plane fight scenes and all that stuff. Uh, ever since Macross 7. Um, so yeah, so most of the old generation Macross fans all stuck with SDF Macross, which is a um, Super Dimension Fortress Macross, or the Japanese would call it the Choji Kyuyosai Macross. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, uh, if you don't fancy uh, the Valkyries from Macross Plus, definitely you can save your singing stones towards this current new banner that's coming up on the 1st of February. Uh, 3 p.m. Japan time. So yeah. Okay, so let's get down to pulling the gacha. We've talked enough about all these details. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we get enough plates to unlock the YF19. I think the YF19 is gonna be as difficult to unlock as Gumlin's Valkyrie. Um, so I don't know. I don't know whether I'll have the luck to actually unlock this um, Valkyrie just for the. Um, life purpose so <laughs> or rather even to use it as a team member within my valkyrie teams hmm okay so here we go template pool one valkyrie and that's it that's kind of sad two red boxes off the bat that's pretty fantastic whoa Okay, so 2019 is definitely a weird year for me in terms of gacha pools. Um, <laughs> very strange indeed. Okay, so we do get two rainbow boxes. Uh, I'm pretty stunned, that's why I, I, I can't seem to progress forward to pass all the common boxes. So, okay, we do get <laughs> Macross 7 plate off the bat. Um, definitely duplicates for me, so this will definitely unlock secret boards, which is fantastic as well. Um, let's move on. Okay, let's see what the second rainbow box is. I didn't expect two rainbow boxes, in fact. Here we go, the second one. <laughs> what is this nonsense? This is a Macross Plus event, not Macross 7. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Okay, so I guess this is my first... Um... Oh, okay, we do get new Macross Plus plates. That's fantastic, so... Um, and lots of Freya as well. Okay. So, pretty decent pool, I think. Um, we did get one, one <laughs> miserable plate from Macross Plus. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so I think that particular plate that we just got, the Macross 7 one, I think it is my first um, gacha based um, episode plate that is probably. Um, that has, well, plus 5 luck. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and it is my first 
um, fully evolved five uh, four star sorry five star plate that has four leaf clovers on it. So uh, I guess that's pretty fantastic as well. It's another step forward to getting high score. So yeah, if you're wondering what all the tags are on the Lucky Leaf, um, I have yet to make a video regarding Lucky Leaves uh, and their filled up effects. Um, I'll get to that in another time. It's been rather busy life, uh, work, full-time work, you know, doing videos and all this and all that. So it is pretty hectic. So guys, be patient with me. There are a lot of videos I'm supposed to do for Old Time Across, but I've yet to find time to do so. So yeah, please guys be patient. Okay, so first ever episode played with plus five and a fully evolved, um, or rather fully um, loaded luck leaf. So yeah, um, definitely don't have enough points for the YF19. So I don't know whether I should do single pools because definitely um, my cross plus banners or rather the valkyrie banners will definitely come back again maybe as a full valkyrie banner set like before um yeah guys so like like i mentioned i think yf19 is gonna be as hard to unlock as gumlin's valkyrie so i did get this plate though um from the free draw so every day there are three free um gacha pools if you guys still don't know by now um, this one, this particular banner every day. So I did manage to get the new Macross Plus plate off from there. So I did get some points earlier. That's why you didn't see a banner pop up saying that I've got points for the VF, sorry, YF19. Okay, so enough of me blabbing away. Um, it is coming into the brand new month. So just a reminder to you guys as well. When a brand new month comes, make sure you claim all your previous um, Zodiac Medal rewards. Of course, make sure you claim this one as well because it's going to end very soon. Um, then of course, once it crosses over to tomorrow, um, the 1st of February, make sure you return here and purchase all the wonderful free stuff because this will be resetted by the end of tonight. Um, then of course, make sure you feed all your divas. Um, the affection items so that they can um, I would say um, give you more stuff <laughs> and stats so anyway guys that's pretty much it all I have for um, this current gacha banner and whatever that is regarding the um, new Valkyries for Macross Plus and of course a bit more information from the Valkyrie uh, tune-up guys hopefully you guys find all this information useful if you guys don't find yourself um, wanting to unlock the YF19, make sure you save up your saving stones and try and unlock Messers, uh, Siegfried and of course uh, Keith's um, Valkyrie as well. So guys, thank you much. Uh, thank you so much as always. Uh, leave a like if you like the video and of course uh, if you don't like the video, you know which button to press. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Until then, bye!